And as the city grapples with the ongoing migrant crisis, there are now more than 3,000 asylum seekers waiting for shelter in police stations across the city. Hundreds more are waiting for housing at O'Hare. And Jewel Hillary is joining us now with more tonight. Jewel. Hi, Michael and Ray. Just a really overwhelming situation. Since May alone, more than 10,000 migrants have arrived here in the city, and the number of new arrivals isn't expected to slow down anytime soon. City leaders say the governor of Texas has told them he now plans to send 20 to 25 buses with migrants daily. City leaders say they are now opening up a new shelter for asylum seekers every six days. In spite of a funding gap in the hundreds of millions, the number of new arrivals is picking up rapidly. Just in the last week alone, we welcomed 63 buses. And so even though we are working every single day to open up these shelters, we just can't get in front of it. As of today, more than 10,800 new arrivals are living in 25 shelters and neighborhoods throughout the city. More than 3,700 people are living inside and outside of police stations and at O'Hare, waiting for city shelter space to open up. We are providing services and dollars on top of what cities do. And in the city of Chicago, as you may know, we've already uh, spent you know more than $300 million, in fact, more than $330 million already to support the asylum seekers shelter. More than 18,000 migrants have arrived in Chicago since last August. The majority of those asylum seekers, close to 11,000 of them, made it to the city starting in May. We do not control the number of buses. We don't control the frequency of how, how they come, and we don't control what the federal government does and does not do even though this is precisely under their jurisdiction. On Thursday, U.S. Senators Dick Durbin and Tammy Duckworth led members of the Illinois Democratic Congressional Delegation in sending a letter to President Biden in part stating, state and local officials have worked tirelessly to serve these new arrivals and the federal government must swiftly provide assistance and resources that reflect this administration's commitment to safe, orderly and humane immigration processes. This is a national crisis that's going to call for a national response, that we need the White House to step up and do more on this issue, and that we join the governor uh, in his call for the White House to do more. Now, on a positive note, the city says since December, Catholic Charities has helped more than 5,500 new arrivals resettle into permanent housing. Also, city leaders say they are finalizing details on where base camps to temporarily house migrants will be located. Back to you. Thank you, Jewel.